before I get rolling, any questions or anything? Yes, sir. I, I just was thinking recently about uh, racial profiling and like th that uh, football player in Miami or I don't know where it was. Yeah, I think it was Ma Florida anyway. He got pulled over and I was thinking, do I do racial profiling? Yes. And I'm going, oh, heck yes. You do And for then sure. I was thinking, well, actually, I'm in <laughs> they the- They should name you Hitler. Uh, no, 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 but I was thinking, I work in the restaurant business, and I, I looked at all the waiters, and the, we all do waiter profiling. Right. I mean, like all of them, like, I'll give an example, like, I worked on a shift where there was no hostess because she had called out. So all the waiters were seating tables. And I noticed that when they were seating the African-American tables, they would go, oh, oh, not in my section. I'll give it to this other waiter. Uh, and I, Go I asked, say the name of your cafe, though. What? Don't say the name. Oh, I'm of not going to say it. I'm definitely not. Definitely uh, not. Definitely well, everybody not. Everybody going to go looking for you. Oh, now. no, no, no. I won't, won't say it. I won't say it. Sorry. I'll okay. Definitely not say it. Wow. Anyway, so I was looking at all the waiters, and they're all doing this waiter profiling. And I, I asked one of the waiters, like, why don't you like serving African Americans? And I'm going, well, let's be honest. They tip 8 to 10%, and they always complain. So that's why I don't want the table. And then I asked him, what else do you do? What, what else? He goes, you know, the Latinos, we don't, you don't, I don't like serving them either. And I goes, why? I goes, they always tip 10% and never complain. I said, so they're the opposite of, you know, the African Americans. Said, yeah. I goes, everybody else is good, right? You know, and I was like, oh my gosh. And then I was thinking the exact same thing. And I, I, I was looking at all the servers that have been there like 10 plus years, and I'm going, uh, waiter profiling, waiter profiling, waiter profiling, waiter profiling. I'm going, my goodness, we all do it. So it's like the cops are racial profiling, but the waiter, uh, waiters do profiling that way with African Americans and Latinos. And then everybody else is good. Just, nice. Just a heads up. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. <laughs> but that been going on forever because black people don't normally tip well. And I don't, I don't tip, I, I tip a little bit. <laughs> That's my case. But, <laughs> and do you tip, are you, are you a happy tipper? I do tip, Jesse, it, it depends on my service though. If I don't get good service, and I don't complain much, but I will but leave you a- you do complain? Not, only if it's, it's warranted. If it's warranted, I will complain. All right, but you don't tip much. If I give good service, I will tip well. Uh, you, Over more than 10%. Instead of a dollar, you tip $2? I try to give about 15, 20%. Oh. Yeah, I, I think I, I'm, <laughs> I don't know if I uh, fit that Keep profile. Keep by the way. <laughs> <clears throat> Are you a good tipper? Oh, yes. Oh, hold on. And, and, and Absolutely. How did you turn out to be a good tipper? No other black people are. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Well, my dad is a big tipper. He taught me to tip. Oh, okay. Yeah. Amazing. I am not a good tipper. And then they put on the thing, how much you should tip. Don't they say he's like 20%? I get mad. I'm like, who's going to tell me how much to tip? If, they, if they're not happy to get paid by their bosses, they shouldn't work here. Nobody called me up and said, well, do you promise to tip 20% to make up a paycheck? So I get mad. <laughs> don't tell me how much to tip. My friend Clint don't like tip either. He black. Down in Alabama, he is a bad tipper. Yes. Let me ask her here. Yeah. And then, those waiters rely on those tips but because I they don't no get paid. Contract deal with that. I know, but they don't get paid a very high hourly. So that's how they make their. That's how they pay their rent, and that's how they pay their car payments. So they rely so on those tips. So why don't they make the company pay more? Because the company. That's not their problem. That's not the company. The that's company not the problem. employee. That's not the waiter or the waitresses problem they just want to work so they uh, rely heavily on those tips so what I'm doing and it is, always comes back Jesse it comes back tenfold back where 
to you. <laughs> I ain't seen no chip come back yet. Unless I went and took it back out of the thing. I, um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is all my employees, I'm gonna bring their salaries down. <laughs> and y'all have to be polite to the customer or you ain't getting no tip. <laughs> How about that? How about that? Well, not in this context. Oh. Not in this context. So what's good for the goose is not good for the gander. No, it's in the service industry. These guys are actually working very hard. They're editing, they're taking calls. They're, they're working hard? They're These guys interfacing hard? with, <laughs> absolutely, well, I would imagine. You haven't been around during the week. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it no, takes a there. lot to produce yeah, a show. It does. It does. Yes. Yeah, I just want to say in, in Miami, they, uh, it's, it's, everything is mandatory tip. They put 18% on everything. Ooh. Everywhere you go. What does that mean, man? They make you give it to them? They make you give it to them. How do they know what they do or do if you don't give it? It's they, part of the bill. Would they keep you from going out? The part of the bill. If you don't pay that bill, you're going to get arrested. Is that true? Yes. I think it's, and that makes sense. I think it's because there's so many Latinos there. Maybe they're, they, they got used to not being tipped well. And there's, so is that is a law? It's, it's not a law, it's just a, actually some, there's a couple like really high-end places that won't do it because it's rude, you know, but almost everywhere else does. Yeah, That's all over amazing. Miami. And I, uh, one thing about tipping is you notice in the last five, ten years, they started making tips on everything. Everywhere you go, they turn around the screen and there's like, add a dollar. So I just buy, I'm a big tipper, I tip 20 to 30 percent. Oh, yeah, he's a major tipper. At a restaurant, but, but if I see, I just buy. When he walk into the restaurant, all the way to come to the table at once. <laughs> but, but listen, by rule of thumb, I just do not tip any of those people with, with, those, with those screens that turn around and ask for a tip for doing nothing. Uh, I just make it, a, it's, a, it's a rule of mine. I don't do it at all. Yeah. So. That's amazing. Yeah, everybody wants a tip now. That's crazy, huh? Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter if they served you or not or anything. Okay. The young lady, are you a good tipper? Mm, sometimes. Sometimes. How much you tip? 50 cent? Uh, I double the tax. Whoa. Yeah. Who taught you to do that? Mm. <laughs> I don't know, I just, my friends said it, so I did it. Nice, that's amazing. When my kid, they don't double the tip. If we leave a tip, they go back and steal the tip. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But that's amazing. Are you a good tipper, Joel? It's definitely, I'm, I'm like you, it's definitely not a, a rule. Be black. <laughs> it's definitely not a rule, I go based off of like, the um, the service opposed to me thinking like I'm gonna tip, but I also don't like when they tell me what I need to tip. I don't like. I don't that like that either. at all. Yeah, but it's, it, he's right though. But even in L.A., it's Who, Colin. Him. Yeah. Colin. Yeah. I'm not gonna say what's his name because you're gonna you're gonna hold on to that one for. <laughs> <laughs> but even in Los Angeles, it's the the tip is built into the bill, so it's it's included in the bill. Now, so when you at certain that restaurants, that doesn't make sense to me. Suppose you get a, yeah. a, a, a waiter or something that's nasty to you, attitude, and don't want to bring you some extra cornbread. Do you it's still have there. to tip that person the same amount? It's just included in the bill. That's why the service has gotten worse. Yeah. Oh, that's why service got worse yeah. because they're gonna get the tip anyway, no matter what. Yeah, really. And you also, she made me think of something. You're tipping on taxes, too. That is crazy. Well, Trump said that we have tip are not going to be taxes anymore, so I'm going to get me a restaurant job. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that a nice idea? Yeah. And it would be nasty and mean, <laughs> and you better tip. <laughs> Amazing. I think he was saying you're not getting taxed on, uh, on tips, cash tips is what he was saying. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Yeah. No tax on tips is what oh, he's saying. Okay. Okay. Not that you have to tip on tax. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait a is it normal? One last question, then I move on. <clears throat> right here. Is it well known and normal that 
when black people go to cafes and things, everybody kind of know they're not going to tip well and they're going to have an attitude, so the waiter kind of... Yes. That's known, huh? Yes. Yeah, that's, whoever mentioned that, that's a given. It's been like that for a while now. And what do you think about that? I think it's unfortunate because, um, you know, I, I really have a lot of respect for people who work in the service industry. And like I said before, I take it seriously now. I understand what Colin was saying about, you know, you, you go to, you know, buy a whatever, and then someone turns around and, and wants a tip based on doing zero. I don't agree with that, but in terms of someone who's providing a, an actual service and there's and, it, and it's you know labor intensive, you know I do I don't take that lightly. And my husband, you know, is a is a big tipper as well. So, you know, I have people who have kind of paved the way for me to keep that right. you know top of mind when I'm when I'm in dealing with someone who uh, is in the service oh, industry. Wow. I am not a good, I have to honestly tell y'all, <laughs> I have an issue with tip. But if somebody's nice to me and they bring the food to what they do, I would tip a dollar, two dollar. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Jesse, you can do better. You can? You can do better. <clears throat> better than a dollar or two? Mm -hmm. I think so. I remember once I went out to dinner with a bunch of folks, and when it came to tip, I was so happy with my little $1 tip. And then they pulled out their tips. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> they looked at me like I was cheap. OK, I'm going to work on tips. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> anyway. <laughs>